Girl, you got that vibe. Girl, you got that vibe. Vibe. Ever seen no Sylvester <laughs> in this motherfucker? That ain't Sylvester. What <laughs> those Aaron Hall songs? No, that's public announcement, ain't it? That's what I thought. Aaron Hall probably wasn't. No, it wasn't. I mean, he wasn't? It, no. Oh, I mean, public announcement. I mean, he got his whole fucking swag from Aaron Hall. I was just gonna right. say, that's all it was was a fake ass guy. Hey, I'm gonna shake my head. She got that guy. She got that vibe. I am. I'm gonna show you. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. You're like Carl Winslow. Bro, get the. Get the, the I'm not. I'm, no, I'm get not spraying the, that shit, man. Get the, get the Tory Lane shit. <laughs> then I got to wear a ball fade. Fuck that. <laughs> he said Carl Winslow, though. I'm too good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just cut it. I'm going to get my tattoo on my head right here first. And then I'm going to cut it bald. What did you talk about doing this? Doing the tattoo? Just the ball. As soon as I get a tattoo. And then it's going like off. Nigga. What's the nigga? So the like connect the old girl. Who? He was a lieutenant in Fast and Furious. <laughs> when uh, Tyrese was mad at all of them damn detectives. I don't know. I gotta say, I ain't never. You know, I ain't never. That's looking. from Roman Fringes. <laughs> 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 I got to What are you talking about, B? I'm gonna look that up now. Which one is it? Part two? Uh, I think it was the one right after Tokyo Drip. Oh, so four. So four, yeah. No, I thought Tokyo Drift was two. I thought that was, no, Tokyo no. Drift was three. Too Fast, Too Furious was two. Well, and then from there, I think it went to Tokyo Drift. It was Too Fast, Too Furious, man. Too Fast, Too Furious. I gotta see this shit. He was a black dude? Yeah, he played Michael Jordan's dad in Space Jam. Oh, dude! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm gonna cut this Slow down, son. I'm gonna cut this <laughs> All right, man. That was Mike Dad for real. <laughs> All right, well, we want to welcome y'all to another episode of Boulevard Ad Radio. I am your boy, Logan the Machine, a.k.a. Old Man Logan. I got to my right of me, Gas Station P, a.k.a. PJ Fucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> and to my left, you dig what I'm saying? The big man behind the boards, Big King B. King B, that's that's all you get out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans. I will take donations, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I want to welcome y'all back. Uh, thank y'all that did tune in and listen to the uh, Dead Presidents episode. The Decoded will be out shortly. Um, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully y'all enjoyed that. You know what I mean? We came up with some good picks. Uh, I really want to see a Dead Presidents reboot now. You know what I'm saying? It would be good. It would be that. dope. It definitely would be dope. Yeah, like I was telling you yesterday, man, we had some really good picks. I think if you put some of my picks, some of your picks, some of P picks all mm. together, you got a solid ass movie. Just give me Tyler James Williams. That's all I want. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that I was just win an Academy Award. I was getting ready today and I randomly thought about it. I said, instead of just doing one bank heist in the movie, maybe they should do two. And then that's the, the second one is when they had thing go down. The first one is just like a trial run. Right. They just run into like a little neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, bank or whatever. Get away with that one. Hmm. Being the second time around. They do too. Sound like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. yeah. The first one was Fleeker Job and shit. Yeah. That's when they get clean on the yeah. second go around. That shit, that shit get extreme. But that probably came because me and you was talking about uh, Den of Thieves yesterday too. So that might have been kind of why that, that, yeah. that planted that, you know, that thought in my head. Hey, hey, I finally, well, I didn't finish it all. Finally started watching Heat. For the first time ever, and that first shit. First time ever. I never watched Heat, and that shit has a cast. Mm -hmm. All I said, cast. Damn. Every now I want to think back then. Was them niggas even, you know, bro? Top actors back yeah, then, like absolutely. like Val Kilmer and all them. They were. They were no new and up and coming. Val Kilmer was was a top dog then. Yeah, and that's crazy how he fell off. Like he, well, he, he really after Batman, like, he ain't did shit no yeah, more. Yeah, he wasn't really doing shit. Yeah, he did that movie. Uh, uh, what was it about the Doors? And that was oh kind of yeah, like Jim Morrison. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then um, from there he just was like B said, he's like a top tier uh, uh, actor. Yeah, you know. I was the worst Batman. Yeah, I like all of them. One of the best Batman. like all time great like action sequences in a movie. Uh, that that shootout between the cops and the, and the bank robbers and Heat Man. Yeah, I gotta finish watching. I ain't finished. I'm like, damn, this I is can't believe that's your first time watching. I movie. never, never watched Heat. Just off, it wasn't like off. I'm not trying to watch it. It was yeah. just I just never got got it in my presence to watch it like that. 
That's crazy. Who's that? Pacino. Uh, Pacino, De Niro. Anything with Pacino and De Niro, you know yeah. it's gonna be, it's gonna be legit. Mm -hmm. Bubba Gump, Bubba Shrimp, dude. Brian, I think Brad <laughs> Paul Michael directed that. That nigga, I saw the scene when the nigga was like, and you better motherfucking be there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, hey, Michael T. Uh, I think his name Michael T. Williamson. Mm -hmm. He's an underrated actor as well. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. uh. Uh, what was that? Waiting to exhale. He was in. Uh huh. You raggedy, you raggedy <laughs> bitch. Fuck <laughs> you. That might have been like the next movie he was in. After it probably was. Because that definitely came out in that in that time frame. Yeah, he had like bitch. three three good movies back to back. He, mm -hmm. Forrest Gump. Mm -hmm. yep. Waiting to exhale. Yep. He's on the road. That he did. Uh, he did the movie. Uh, what was this shit? The uh, Satchel Paige movie. The oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The HBO movie, with your boy Delroy Lindo. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. Delroy was Satchel Page, right? Yeah. Mm, I remember that. I remember that. He played that. Josh Gibson, so. They yeah. did a hell of a job with that. And he moved on to, like, TV and shit. I right. remember seeing him in, like, Chicago PD. I was super late to the party on Chicago PD. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I like to watch now. Like, that in the SVU, I be doing my little yeah, thing. Yeah, that shit. Watching that shit. watching that. Like, all right. So you still at home? Mm hmm Oh, damn. Yeah. I, cause man, like I got pre-existing conditions, you know what I'm saying. Right. And I, I was telling my my uh, my boss, you know, cause they was I got one dude in my department that's there to like receive stuff, cause FedEx and um uh, uh, U, uh UPS still you know, um deliver. deliver there. So during the week we needed somebody there, so <clears> he was like, all right, cool. Well, homeboy stay in Aurora. He closes out of the three, you know, cause my right. department's small, but it was like, well, all right, he gonna take the honors. He go up there Monday through Friday. And you know what I'm saying? I can still work at home. Cause the other guy, Kenny, um, same deal. He got uh asthma. So I was just telling my boss, I was like, you know, we we got existing conditions, and then people at the crib right. got existing conditions. So it was just kind of like, nah, I can't do that. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, man, I've been fortunate. You still getting paid. That shit is amazing. Just rolling out of bed and you're going to get to work. You gotta get up, dress up, man. and that shit. Must be nice. Yeah, that's why I don't never complain. Right. <laughs> you ain't gonna never hear me complain right now. But um, outside of that, though, man, uh, you know, we got some stuff for the people. You know what I mean? We want to chat it up. We're about. So y'all ready to jump into this thing, man? Let's do it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and slide it off with something we ain't did in a minute, man. We ain't really had a sports talk in a nice little minute. Already. Hell no. All right. So Gangsta P, what's going on in the world of sports? They call me Gangsta P. I'm G. <laughs> um, well, the NBA is going to start July 30th. First, let me go into the segue and congratulate my man. Patrick Mahomes for getting that five hundred million. I mean, yeah, he did get a good five forty two, wasn't it? Like yeah, something like that. That nigga, nice. that nigga got paid. Then came up in the morning and said, "Hey, I still gotta get, get become great." Went right to practice. Didn't even stop. So that's a hell of a boy. Much, much. So wait, I, was the whole five forty two guaranteed or just that? I didn't look into, but I think so. Because I was hearing like at the five hundred. He has like the craziest contract. Yeah. Yeah, it's the highest paid contract for of any a quarterback. Oh, and then he's him being a black quarterback. Yeah. Any athlete in any American in any sport, sport, yeah, that too. So yeah, that man got it. So congratulations to him. And he seemed like a good brother too. Yeah, he's a good saying? cool like, dude. He got a, you know, good head. He mixed, ain't he? I think he is. I think he is. He's a cool dude, man. I like Pat Mahomes. He reminds me of Steph Curry a lot. Yeah, yeah. He seemed like he could be that type of guy. Yeah, he could be. Remind me of Kane Brown, who is a country singer. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see that guy. Yeah. I know what he's talking about, but I, I ain't never checked his music out. Come kiss me one more time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that shout out to him. But uh, and, and then the NBA is finna start. What is it, July thirtieth? We finna get the NBA back open. Everybody, I think everybody has made it to the Orlando bubble. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody's man, getting ready. They I heard some stuff about the bubble, man, with the WNBA players that uh, wasn't too appeasing. What happened with, I didn't I didn't even know they was there. So what yeah. happened with them? Yeah, so they playing down there too. Mm -hmm. So they got the WNBA players down there and they have pretty much the same situation as the NBA players. Right. They're staying in the hotel rooms. Uh they're getting three meals a day brought to them. But a lot of these people, uh a lot of the players don't eat meat mm -hmm. and, and they can't really make alterations with their uh food. So mm -hmm. they gotta go and buy, you know, carry out or delivery right mm -hmm. because and then you know the options are limited because a lot of places ain't really open right right you know. but you know i would have thought they would have had a special chef for the nba players to like come down 
y'all can come get y'all plates. I think, and food and I stuff think like for that. the NBA teams, they do have like a team chef or a couple but of chefs. Now, have you been seeing the pictures of their food? No. Nah. It's been looking like bad. Like a lot of players, like, oh, this looks like the fire food. Your boy J.R. Smith said it's a flame. He said he get He don't give a fuck. He's, he, he back in the league. He, he <laughs> don't fuck what you give me. If you give me cheeseburgers every day, I'm going to work this shit off. It's going to all taste the same after I drink this Hennessy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, a lot of players are happy. A lot of players ain't tripping about it. You know, they, they enjoy being there, you know, doing that or whatever the case is. But yeah. it's, it's good to see. I'm ready to see how this shit finna look. As far as we watching it on TV, what we finna hear? Mm-hmm. Is did, they, the, did they mention what how to how to how to uh, is being played? Like, is it? I, I really think games are just gonna be going because so you got like three. You're, just <clears throat> you're gonna play to like the till they get to the playoff part because teams it's like three courts on one strip. You know what I'm saying? One little thing in the uh, in the room. Mm-hmm. So my thing is like, damn. So y'all y'all everybody finna play today? You know what I'm saying? I guess everybody gonna play today at the same time. Motherfuckers just gonna be out there. Who? How you gonna watch that shit? Like, I don't know, man. We gonna see. We gonna they see. They gotta how be doing like shit. football shit. That's why I said football had a little camera. Yeah, on the going across. That's why I said I like, really want to see how this like shit gonna work out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm excited for it. It's gonna look cool. I wonder if they gonna implement this in like 2K and shit. They might have Put this to. in the game. It probably fun. won't be on 21. I'm pretty sure 21 probably. Right. You know, production been done on that. It'll be, be a good look, man. Have it like a part. Uh, they match. Got us. I mean, DLC. Update all yeah, those yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, could, could be in that. Could be in that. Well, yeah, um, they all finna come back. They finna get it started. Everybody ready. Everybody training. Now, was that true? I, I saw something. I didn't get a chance to like tap on it and actually read it. But I was looking at like the Google headlines, and they were saying like. You know the players that had an option if they want to put like you the know, names on the jersey. Names yeah, I was going to get to that. LeBron and Anthony Davis are the two that I know for now not doing it because they feel they wanted to have a a say so of what they wanted to put on the back of their jersey, not these chosen slogans that y'all putting on our jerseys. Mm. I think it's like five or six. I know one of them is Black Lives Matter, uh, Equality. Um, Oh, I forgot. I think like maybe say their name or something like that. But mm. you know, I guess LeBron and them probably wanted to put like "Stop Killing Us." Maybe George Floyd's name or yeah. whatever. You know, whatever the case is, yeah. they wanted to have a say so slow. They said they're not gonna put anything on their back of their jersey. Him and Anthony Davis. I don't know. Like I say, any other players. But yeah. So I mean, it's cool because Cal <coughs> Corbett said he's gonna wear Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Matter. He want that on his jersey. Yeah. Which is great. You know what I'm saying? I I, I like it. But yeah, they should have. Let them choose too, like what else they want to do. These could be the extra options if you have nothing in your mind to use. And that should be something that they well, do. I mean, have. They, they had to have that restriction because you got motherfucking John Morant. Well, we know we ain't gonna let that happen. Fuck, fuck twelve, back. fuck twelve. He's back number back. twelve. <laughs> he's gonna have fuck. Back well, back. well, we know that wasn't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? But it could have happened had they not stepped <laughs> in though. I, but it just it's just crazy to me. Like, damn, I, it would have been nice to see. But another thing about it is cool is. <laughs> Like I said, they, they give them they, uh, they certain ones to say, I really think these jerseys are going for sale. Okay. They're going to have the, yeah, the Black Lives Matter jerseys and shit out there. So maybe that could be the reason why they wanted to do that. Because we got to sell these motherfuckers. Yeah, right. They get the fuck 12s, man. Right. <laughs> so they got, we got to sell them, so we're going to have to do it this way. I wonder it's if, easier for us. Because you know you can get like the... Uh, Custom jersey from East Bay. Yeah, I wonder if they still got that and they let you put that on. Yeah, you still could do that. Would you put fuck twelve? It'd be crazy if they let you put fuck twelve. I don't that. think so. They might play it out for cursing. Yeah, curse words. You had to go to a nigga on the street. <laughs> Get your sister's <laughs> Like going to a nigga on the street for a drink and give me an airbrush t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, just take the jersey with no name. Just put twelve put on the, the back. Off the t-shirt. Have them stick the name in. So that's that's Adam Silverman that make them calls though, right? Like yeah, yeah. So I, I just wanted to make sure because I'm like, all right, he been pretty accommodating on that at least. I mean, they did yeah, because I mean, you see Toronto pulled up with a Black Lives Matter bus. Yeah, like they they went all out for the shit. Yeah, it's just I guess that's one of the things that they was like tripping about was the jerseys, but everything else in the boat, everybody having fun, or, you know, hanging out. This shit, they like big kids there. Yeah, and Pat Bev on the beach in boots. Mm-hmm. Right, and then Pat Bev, uh, <laughs> he was like, man, I ain't tripped. This nigga had, you know he from Chicago. I never liked this shit, but niggas be buying them polo shirts. This nigga had a closet full of polo <laughs> shirts. <laughs> he said, got all my white shirts ready, all the polo tees ready. I said, this nigga went to Marshalls or Ross and got all of them <laughs> fucking stocked up. Stocked up hard. <laughs> 
But he was like, I ain't tripping. I got my game. Uh, PJ Tucker ordered a TV, a bigger TV. Mm. You know, brought his shoes and shit. So, I mean, they having fun. Because they be saying some players was complaining, but. It should just remind a lot of them know what college, though. Yeah, I that's all it's really going to be like college. Yeah. Y'all going on a road trip with your guy. You got to actually go to college. That's what they're going to do. Right. Yeah, some and of them you know it. what I heard? I, I doubt this is true. But they said James Harden told Adam Silver, can you put a strip, invite strippers in here because it helps me. <laughs> it helps me relax. That nigga been in Houston too long, bro. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I said, y'all hope that ain't true that that nigga said that. But he's like, it helps me relax more. So he trying to get my liar down there. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> two, but yeah, that's the that's the, the news on the NBA. Like I, I heard they doing a bubble or we're thinking about doing a bubble here in Chicago. Yeah, I don't understand what was going on about that though. Now I think from that I think that whatever teams that wasn't in contention for like the playoffs, that's who was gonna be at that bubble and they was gonna have the ability to play here. For what? They just be, you know, just be playing. Fuck all that. So <laughs> just do that if the league started yeah. back. Didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not even working. Yeah. It ain't even working. Where they gonna go though? I'm a corner quick. I mean, if I'm they gonna, gonna do United Center, maybe I would think. But we don't have no big resort thing. Like they have, they can all. Nah, they would have to do like yeah. niggas go out to get them buses and travel. Have to yeah. build that shit. You yeah, yeah, have, have to build that one for them. You want to keep them all in the bubble. Lady had to legit take one of them parking lots, or maybe two of them parking lots, like that surround the United Center, and build that. Yeah. I put some hotels up, mm-hmm. some shit. But then again, <clears throat> you don't need like an audience. You don't need seats. So right, right. You just build it to the three courts or whatever, two yeah. courts. Mm-hmm. Right. They'll like that. That'd be dope. <clears throat> so I, I think they still trying to get that done. But like y'all said, it, it ain't necessarily worth it, especially if you're not going to get a playoff spot. Right. You know? And speaking of that, Kyrie Irving is not coming. But the Nets have signed Jamal Crawford. And Michael Beasley for the My rest boy. of the season. Really? So I would like Kyrie to be there so he can kind of contend with them because they still in the runners to be at least eighth seed. No, they are. They the sixth seed. Yeah, they in the playoffs. I they think they're the sixth like seed, right? So it's, it would be nice, but his ass don't want to uh, play. So yeah. well, he was adamant about not playing. So yeah, um, by it being a potential distraction, that nigga just don't want to get hurt. That nigga weak, weird as hell. Right? He fucking. I don't like Kyrie no more. Hey, my nigga Jamal was here to say today. You know, right? <laughs> he ain't forty years old. Oh, he, sh- and he said he's twenty twice. Yeah, twenty twice. <laughs> and shout out to um, Patty Mills, man. Like what he said, he was. They asked him, you know, why you didn't stand back like most players. You know, I'm not joining. He said, why would I do that when the money that I'm making can go to the black community? Mm. Right. So I said, applaud for that because that's what we're doing this for right now. It's the money, the checks y'all get from being here, send them to the black communities and help out the black organizations and shit. And shout out to Patty Mills for that, man. That was a good, good call on him. That's all I got for the sports. Uh, did you? Did we want to touch on that Jill Scott thing real quick? With the uh, the football player. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, uh, what was his now. name? I just saw it not too long ago as well. Jill Let me see. Scott. Did somebody post it? Yeah, my buddy posted it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, a cat named Cal uh, Chiario, I guess at Cal's underscore Styles on Twitter. He said, "People are attracted to Jill Scott." So, fellas, young nigga, young nigga. Young nigga. <laughs> yeah. What makes what makes Jill rich. unattractive even to a young nigga though? Like, cause she's big. Yeah. Niggas is so in this society now. Nigga, if you're not skinny and petite with fat ass, mm-hmm. then you you ain't shit. But this is a real woman we talking about. Uh, Jill Scott. Man. You don't get you know much more authentic than that. Mm-hmm. And, and authentic and authentic brothers love that. Yeah. Right. You right. Know, so. And Jill didn't actually lost weight. She's she's not as big as she was when she first came out. Oh, it fluctuates, but that yeah. shit is not a problem. It's not a bad thing. Like <laughs> she's, she's like sexy, that. her titties yeah. are sitting nice. She got a nice ass on and shit. She was kind of yeah. sexy. She wear a lot of big clothes, but shit. <laughs> she's sexy. Dressed like grandma from Tom and Jerry. That's the only thing. <laughs> Thomas? Tom? That's the only thing I hate about Jill's guys. She wear a lot of big clothes. Baby, you got a nice body. She Show that shit. Guys, Aunt Jemima, uh, house gown. I don't want no gowns coming boy, in. She might make a monstrous meal for you, though, boy. Yeah. I'll and that hot water, cornbread, cornbread and shit. Man. You got to give me that Jill Scott. <laughs> that motherfucker nice. I love Jill Scott. Yeah, my homeboy, you bugging. He bugging like a motherfucker. Like, like, like Big said, he ain't nobody young nigga. I want to know what's what's his ideal woman then. Exactly. Like, if you don't like, if you if you 
got a gripe with niggas that like Jill Scott, then what do you like? You don't like big women. That's what I can think of. Because ain't shit wrong with Jill Scott. Ain't I don't wrong with you. Big women ain't my preference. But Jill Scott is a beautiful woman. And right. I, I ain't gonna never sit here and be like, y'all niggas like Jill Scott? The fuck do right. you know? <laughs> right. no, she, she's beautiful. She's not my cup of tea. Jill Scott throw you the pussy, you gonna go ahead. Yeah. I might fuck around, but you know what I'm saying? It's not my, I'm not finna pursue it. All right, if right. it's thrown, I, I'm catching yeah, unless he was doing that on some like clickbait, like he just was on some board shit and no, just like, let me throw this out here. Could be. Man, it don't even make sense to do that. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, you played yourself. Yeah. So this is in the realm of sports, but it ain't necessarily uh, a sports topic. Uh, the Minister Farrakhan had a speech on 4th of July, you know, called the criteria, uh, Criterion. And uh, it was a lot of controversy that stems from basically the, the last portion of his speech where he, you know, said some comments about Jewish people. Mm -hmm. So we had um, uh, Stephen Jackson and we had Deshaun Jackson from uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. They had some comments basically kind of supporting what <clears throat> the minister said. And Deshaun went, I guess, a step further. And that that like sent a lot of people. Yeah, like please tell me. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what he said. So I, yeah. I haven't. I know it was on Instagram, but I know since then it's been deleted. deleted. Okay. So I, I so wasn't deleted. able to like find the actual like post of what he said. But since then, you know, he's, you know, the, uh, it's things going on where he's supposed to be meeting with an actual Holocaust survivor. You know what I'm saying? I think he got fined by the Eagles. They're supposed to be penalizing him a little bit further for his comments. And my man, Elderman, he had uh, said something about. He would like to take him to like a Holocaust thing, mm -hmm. so he could see the the thing of what's going on and how how they heritage grew or whatever their culture was. And then yeah. he's like, "I like to come to an African museum and you show me about your culture." So he was he was trying to you know understand him because he know you know this shit is crazy. We all don't know everything, so let's work right, it out right. and become as one as together and do this shit with each other. So I can respect that from yeah. from uh you know the guy from the Patriots elder. So. <clears throat> Things is to be, you know, interpreted how they interpret it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, we obviously didn't see, like, his actual comments, but is it wrong to, to have this stance or to put the stance out there <clears throat> just because of your particular, you know what I'm saying, your, your job as far as Stack or uh, Deshaun in they, in they cases? Because while people may agree with the stance they had, you know, they don't necessarily have the stuff to lose that mm -hmm. them gentlemen got because right. they, they're public figures. It's with anybody. Like yeah. when the, uh, the, the woman that pulled the gun out on the girl in the parking lot, she lost her job. Yeah. People that are calling the police on black people for no reason, they're losing their job once they figure out who it is. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it, it's no different with any celebrity or athletes or anything. If you, if you, if you present a stance that's uh, anti-Semitic. You you gonna have to. I'm not gonna say you have to uh, deal with the consequences, but there's gonna be some backlash. Absolutely right. right. So I mean, I'm, I'm sure he knew that going into when he was in that mindset of yeah, I'm gonna say this shit. Mm -hmm. He knew it was gonna be some backlash. Right. Right. Yeah, he should have stood his ground though. That if that was the case, like you know, because. He succumbed to the pressure. Obviously, he deleted the tweets or the the, uh, the Instagram posts. Um, Stack basically stood on what he was saying. You know, he, right. he clarified he it a little bit, but you know, he didn't really change like you know what was going on. I mean, he he's retired though. So, right. You know. Stack all about if you ain't with us, then we ain't with you. Type yeah, shit. Yeah. That's yeah. his main thing. Yeah. You know. Shout out to Stack, man. He doing his thing out there. Yeah, he was just out. I was looking <clears> on his page yesterday because we kind of went over this on, on, on Shoulders Pigs as well. But, you know what I'm saying? I see he's still doing a lot of, like, visual, uh, visuals and stuff for uh, George Floyd out there with the people. Right. You know, he was just out in Michigan somewhere uh, yesterday, I saw. So, you know, salute. You know what I'm saying? Stack, man. He's still out here trying to do it for yeah, He's he been for the people, man. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I remember when they came to Chicago for the big three, man. He was in a crowd passing out chicken and shit. Man. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> tell him. Just on some, on some real nigga shit, man. He, he for the people. Yeah. Still, man, I ain't go that big. Right. <laughs> we'll go next time. Whenever shit, if, if we can go. Whenever this COVID over. We, it might be man, two years. Watching TV way. on TV? On t I mean, watching <laughs> shit on TV for now. Man. All right, but uh, not sneak up. Uh, I mean. Oh, sports. wait. Before we got sports, I saw your bum-ass homie. 
Denzel Valentine the other day too. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. That nigga was a bum. I'm like, man, I should have go over there and say something to him. I said, nah, that nigga weak. I could probably beat him in a one on one. Where you see him at? I was at recess. Um up north. That's hell, bust your ass. That nigga weak. He couldn't bust Frank Nitty. But I saw him, I said, damn, I got tail <laughs> I said, I got tail I saw his boy. Didn't say him all the time. But yeah, that's all I wanted to He said he's going to bring him to the alley. <laughs> Thug ball, nigga, let's go. Man. Take him across the track. <laughs> All right, so new uh, segment in uh, Boulevard Ave, trying to bring the sneaker stuff into the uh, to the vibe. Uh, did you cop? So yesterday, Jordan put out a uh, Jordan One Smoke Gray colorway. So yeah, did y'all cop? I ain't cop. Did, or you know, based off of what you know, what I'm saying you saw you saw the sneaker. Did you think right. it was something that sneaker heads was just gonna have to get? Like it was a no. Nah, to me, it was like a. It's like they made the motherfuckers before to me. They probably have. They wasn't they like have. that super cold. Like, them one know, oh, we need to get these. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers, I know motherfuckers probably in bottom. Just because it's a well, retro it's just one. Just get it because it's the culture. Right. Yeah, it's the, uh -huh. Anything retro one, typically, especially when it's a high, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, it sells out. The know? only ones I like was the black and real one. The ones he couldn't wear. The mm -hmm. band ones. The band the ones. The ones I really like. Yeah. It, it, the whole sneaker culture thing, like that's one shoe. Like I don't even try to get ones anymore because it's so hard to get them. Right. You know, you you'll see them come out. Uh, I'll never forget. I bought it was a black and blue pair like retro ones that came out a couple years ago. It's this uh, store called Boneyard. Mm -hmm. So the store opens are about noon, I guess. Every day twelve to seven is probably their they time. So this particular shoe, obviously, shoe comes out at ten everywhere else. Right. By the time they open, you wanna know how much the shoe was? About five hundred. Three hundred. Mm. So at that particular point in time I was able to do such things. <laughs> <laughs> so I went ahead and procured those jokers, but yeah, Timid thirty seven, yeah, I'm not necessarily doing that type of shit. Right. Anymore, for all saying, that uh, so yeah. All right, but uh that was Digi Cop. Uh <laughs> yeah, so Going from that, man, what y'all want to get into, man? We got some movies to get into. We got Let's some hit the music. Movie. We hit the movies. Yeah. All right, all right. So, a big disappointment for me, personally. Me as well, because you know I got my shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still ain't going to wear this motherfucker. Sorry. Right, so, uh, Halloween Kills, the most anticipated sequel in the Halloween trilogy that we got coming, for, uh, you know, to the 2018 reboot, is officially delayed till next year. So... The thing was, the movie was scheduled to come out October 16th, 2020, originally. But due to the COVID-19, you know what I'm saying, theaters basically being closed, a lot of movies, they've been looking for alternative ways to release. So you've been seeing a lot of stuff hit video on demand, you know what I'm saying, things of that sort. So this movie, now the Halloween that hit in 2018, it grossed about $255 million off of an $18 million budget. So this was a huge success for Universal. So in uh, Blumhouse, so they was looking to try to recreate this, and they did some test things, uh, some test uh, uh, viewings of it. It did very well on the test viewings. They got Doctor Loomis returning in this joint. I this don't know is how the test viewings was for this one. for this one. Okay, and it had buzz going around because Wait. this Halloween, this Halloween is supposed to have the most kills in. Any slasher movie ever. ever. So it was a lot of hype going on with this uh, particular film. But with the COVID having everything shut down, I know it, you know, the uh, administrative office <laughs> right. that runs the, you know, the country is trying to open everything up, you know, but so, theaters ain't open yet. So you think that's really the reason why it's delayed? Yeah, that. I mean, absolutely. They, you but until the they, next year, dude. next year, yeah. I, oh, I me personally, I think they should have just went ahead and did a video on demand. Yeah. But after seeing the amount of money it made, and that's like money that I think it's still gonna make. Slasher movies don't necessarily make that kind of movie, right? It don't. They, they don't have money. Excuse me. You know. So what we did get though in place is a uh, <clears throat> teaser trailer that came out a couple days ago. And it looks like this movie is picking back up at the end of the events of the last one from 2018. Yeah, because I ain't watching. So, I think what they want to do, man, they want to give you that uh, experience in the movie theater. Like, yeah, seeing a, uh, a movie in the theater opposed to watching it at the crib is totally different. Well, most, well I mean, well, with this shit going on now, most people's houses is going to be movie theaters. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going. I'm, 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 as well, I'm trying to buy me a sound bar for mine too. So when shit like like when Candyman come out, I'm gonna yeah, want to watch yeah, that shit yeah. loud. So it's like you might as well just put the shit out because everybody finna change their shit around. Especially honestly, if we can't go nowhere. Yeah, honestly, I think this COVID thing is changing. It's pushing a lot of stuff forward that was possibly gonna happen anyway. As far as you know, the consumption. Like, look what uh, digital streaming platforms did to music. You know what I'm saying? People right. used to have to go to it's a throwback, Circuit City. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They used to have to go to Best Buy to grab whatever they was trying Sam to listen Goody. to. Sam Goody, Coconuts. <sighs> You know, these things are a thing of the, of the past now. You know what I'm saying? Before the Best Buy, that, they don't even sell CDs anymore. Hell they no. They don't? Nah. So you, where can you get a CD if you want it? If you, you probably got to order it off Amazon or some shit. Damn. I don't know. But it ain't in there. <laughs> you might go to the, like Walmart or something and get it. I don't think it's... It's, it's, it's I, vinyls. Yeah, you got, you got vinyl too. And That's niggas cool. even making cassette tapes. Yeah. Now that I don't know why. That's just like I purely, think it's just purely collecting thing you know, to put on your wall or whatever. That's I, all. Hey, you ain't finding no tape recorder nowhere. <laughs> my old auntie got an old thing. And it's still oh, work. they got the Bluetooth vinyl players, man, mm -hmm. and I think that's dope. They got yeah. Bluetooth vinyl players? Cause I need a, I need a, I got I mean, a record sound that works. Great. It sounds yeah, great. It sounds I love better it. than yeah. anything else. Yeah. yeah. The little noise they on there. So I do feel like COVID really pushed us into an era we were probably gonna see maybe in the next five to ten years anyway, right. mm -hmm. especially with this VOD. Like, you know, it was some movies I personally like skipped on because I'm gonna be honest, I was being cheap, like that Invisible Man movie. I wanted to see it, but I wasn't willing to pay twenty dollars video on demand. You didn't go to the show? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that was like right around when the COVID hit, and they was, you know, from yeah, there. Yeah, I, I saw it before it, yeah. it canceled. So, you know, it was one of them type of things for me personally. But, you know, I, I feel like this is probably where we're, we're headed anyway. Yeah. You know, uh, Universal was ahead of the curve with uh, that Fast and Furious movie. They, they had shut that down immediately because that was supposed to came out in uh, May. And they was just like, oh, no, uh, we we bringing this out next year. So they added this on there, and uh, we got another horror film. Now, this one is still scheduled to be released, but Jordan Peele was adamant about this being video on demand. It's not as big as the Halloween franchise, but it is a reboot of sorts, and it's for Candyman. So Candyman was supposed to have been coming out in June. Then they gave it a September release. Now it's getting actual uh, October 16th release is what's scheduled now. And that was supposed to be the Halloween release. So right. now we're supposed to get Candyman. I'm glad it's in October, though. No lie. Because I, I, I hate when horror movies are not in October. Like, put them motherfuckers around a scary time. Yeah. Don't have my shit come out in August unless we're doing some 4th of July shit or some shit like that. Yeah. So some of the shit in the movie, but I like them in October. But yeah, at least he's doing it on video on demand because this is very... For me, it's anticipation building the fuck up. Like I really want to see what he finna do with this, yeah. how this finna come about. So I'm glad he bringing it out. I'm gonna just <clears throat> go buy me a motherfucking sound bar. Put some speakers in the fan with a group on for the low too. So okay, yeah. cool. But I, I'm gonna be honest, man. I, I ran to the movie to see us, and I'm still confused. I haven't watched that since. You know what I'm saying? I want to support Jordan. You know that's my favorite movie. I, I was just like, yeah, get out. I watched like once or twice. No, I had to watch that twice to like really get that. And that was the better movie, but I yeah. watch Us more than any fucking thing. And I, I've only watched it once. Yeah, I don't think this movie has any replay value for yeah. me. Mm -hmm. but what about Keanu? I haven't even seen that. I thought I you did seen say you seen Keanu. Keanu was great. Y'all had some crackle for free. All I know is is Method Man was in it and Jason. What's his name? Jason Mitchell. Yeah, Jason Mitchell and uh Tiffany Haddish. I see. I Keanu was really man. Keanu was great. It was a great comedy slash uh, thriller. Mm -hmm. It was it was great. Speaking of Tiffany Haddish, y'all see a new hairdo. <laughs> what is that about? Hey, you seen they push? She look like what's her, what's his name? What the fuck is his name? Be? I know you know him. I, I just know that's homeboy from Terminator 2. Yeah, he said he looked like I said, damn, she do look she like him. She right there. Yeah. I'm, and is that for a movie? What no, she said she was just, I had look, actually looked at a video because she was talking to Michael Blackson. Uh -huh. And he, she was just like, I was just tired of it. She's like, I always wanted to cut my hair, period. And, you know, I just did it, so... Yeah, not all. Women I want to see her done. Get like, away with that ball here shit. Right. Yeah. I want to see her, like cut nice, like lined up. Let me see how she look. Yeah, because now they can look good with it. Look like she just cut her shit out. Uh, you like Sonal with it? Nah. I like Sonal. I, like, I, I, I like have some, I have some women personally that I know that look good with it. Yeah, yeah. I like women with short hair. You get a short and a blonde too. Oh, that's fucking. 
Oh, uh, my should be doing the yoga and shit. Like buns roll, forever I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fake ass with that ball. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Bro. Oh, you talking about that girl that be on the beach doing yoga? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, like yeah, yogi, whatever her name is. Man. I feel like someone watching that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> So yeah, man. Uh, just to put a button on Candyman, though, man. That's October sixteenth. Uh, VOD. Jordan, I'm gonna give you twenty dollars, man. You bet not disappoint. Yeah, yeah I'm giving you know, my money. That that's gonna be it for me, buddy. Like I, I can't do it. Now nah, that, that I tried to attempt. I don't know if y'all did it, but I tried to watch that Twilight Zone. He was a part of. I didn't know. Yeah, no, man. It, it didn't do it for me. It wasn't good. Mm, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I think, think Twilight Zone was. A, I think we support this nigga because he's black. Yeah, but no, you know what I think about Twilight Zone? I think Twilight Zone was a thing of the past. Like, even if you do reboot it, it ain't gonna be as good. Especially how he did it. Mm -hmm. It was had to be on the network. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't that good. So I was getting that that the shit really ain't all that good that he's putting out. Yeah. yeah. It's right. decent. It's it's solid bodies of work. Right. It's not Scorsese and no shit like right. that. But just for him to be a black horror that we that's don't have, yeah. you know, yeah. So that's he's, he's the point. opening up a door that wasn't there before. So for the next person, yeah. There. No, I'll be a hundred percent honest and say this 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 is the only reason I support his shit is because he's black. Mm. You know, they gave him a shot and it's just like okay. Well, like I said, he y'all gotta remember he got a thing coming out on HBO. We're gonna see how it is. Yeah. Uh, the, the slave shit. This this yeah, some slave type shit, but it gotta do with aliens, so Talking about this show Cracker? No, no, no. That is, oh yeah. God, that I mean, this, is what, is? this is Jordan Peele and I want to say Martin Scorsese or what's the Michael Bay. Oh, Either man. him and one of them doing this together. It's one of them doing it together, but this shit like is gonna be good. So that might even that'd be it either. That's the one who got Journey Smollett. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Juicy sister. Alright, uh, so I'm trying to think was there any other like they got her doing a lot of slave shit. Don't that's, she all she that's, a, that's, that's all she do. That's all she That's all she That's so bad. She high yellow. There ain't no high yellow slaves out there. <laughs> but she can <laughs> talk <laughs> like them, I guess. She do have to. They from the south. They I'm from the water. I'm so. nah. uh, She's supposed to be in the house and whatever she's doing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frying the chicken up. Like, yeah, that's, that's what she was doing. Yeah, she's supposed she, to be in there making gumbo. She, <laughs> no cotton was being liar. picked by her. Po boys. <laughs> po boys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, it's good as a motherfucker. Oh man. Um <laughs> shit, let's 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 switch gears a little bit though, man. Let's move over into music. Uh before we get to the new releases that came out, gotta say a big shout out to Pop Smoke, whose album last week, uh what is it? Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. Aim for the moon. And that joint went uh two hundred and forty eight thousand units sold for it. Did y'all listen to it? I did. did I listened like to it. it. Did I like it? It wasn't bad. Yeah, I really don't like Pop Smoke. It, but I like Pop Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's a cool dude. I like how he dance and he did his voice and goes with song. But, I should, you know, like he danced. Twitter, that motherfucker did some Selena shit. He <laughs> out of his hips. That's what I put on West Coast. He was doing that. Yeah. But I just hate that his songs, every song is the same <laughs> thing. Shit, like. Bum -bum type yeah. shit. But I fuck with him. I give him his respect and all that shit. I like, yeah. the, I like his sound, man. He brought a new sound. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. people was uh, starting to copy. Yeah. Just like uh, Tentacion was doing. When he was right, doing right. That's why I say sound. I can fuck with him because of that. Yeah, it's always these niggas that be getting killed, that be innovative and, and, and creating a new land. That's crazy. Sounds. Do you peep that, like... Jimi yeah. Hendrix and them all them, they was innovative and they all yeah. die young. The same it's kind always, of shit going on. It's up. always yeah. the innovative ones that's, that's creating a that new sound. That's crazy. He was definitely ushering in a new sound for New York. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's actually, I, I thought he was from here. When he first came out. Yeah, he from <laughs> Canarsie, Brooklyn. But um, I think that sound he has is Euro drill music. Mm hmm. That's what they do over there in, in the UK. Yeah. You know what? It do sound like that. He shit. brought it over here and then pretty much just uh modified it to, to his to his liking. Right. So. Cause I definitely heard That sounds like uh, some skeptical uh, shit. Yeah. A, uh, <laughs> a song on Drake's uh Dark what's it called? Darkland demo tapes. Uh -huh. It got that that pop smoke type beat. Uh -huh. like he it. bit that shit from yeah. some dude in Europe. Yeah. The, the actual verse I think he bit. Mm. From Drake. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I want to say congratulations, you know what I'm saying? Hope you're resting easy, Pop. Yeah, man. Uh, Pop. We also got news that uh, five guys were arrested. It was it was uh, three adults, I think they said, and two kids 
something to that degree uh, that was arrested. No, I got it wrong. It was two men and three kids. Uh, so they basically alluded to, okay, they saw Pop Smoke's address on That's the funny. Instagram post and they just went for it. Mm. So, Rob a nigga, but don't kill a nigga. That's that's what I'm not understanding, man. Yeah, like so, don't take young black some black lives for nothing. Just rob the nigga, man. That's why you gotta like be real careful. Like I made sure when I was posting, like I posted uh, one of my my mom friends. Uh, he got he got a nice little Panamera. You know what I'm saying? I, I just had to you know stop for the gram a little bit. I didn't say it was mine, but right. <laughs> I just was like, this motherfucker cold. Let me put this on the gram. And I made sure I didn't, I cropped out his like license plate. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I made sure you didn't see the crib address thing because, you know, you have to be careful with what you're yeah, posting people because people are watching. They see you when you got X amount of followers or they see you trying to do something with yourself. And But you got some niggas that don't care. I, I know a buddy, he got, he got like a lawsuit with Lyft or Uber, one of them. Uh -huh. Got hella money, like a hundred something thousand. Put it on Facebook. I'm finna go buy this, buy that. Niggas is on. Oh, yeah. I said, he end up dead. I can't say shit about it. Because you, you you put that out there for the you motherfuckers know, yeah. to get on you. Yeah. So you really had to be mindful of what you what you putting out there. Because it's just crazy the days and times we in. Like, we mm -hmm. got a whole pandemic going on. But it, it, it's still craziness going on outside of there. Cats is shooting cats on the expressway. Jumping out the car with no right. problem. Like, it's just crazy. So... You know, but I'm glad they do got some people uh, arrested and that they, uh, you know, what I'm saying, look like they're making some uh, some uh, uh, new developments with uh, Pop Smoke's uh, case. So, that's good. That's definitely good. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that, though, man, we're gonna move on into the new releases we got for the music. We had some new music from Juice World. Once again, rest in peace. He passed uh, a couple of weeks before Christmas. Uh, drug overdose. We had a single from Snow Allegra. We had an EP from Summer Walker. Oh, shit. And, I heard that was uh, trash. What? I ain't played yet, but I heard. Oh, that shit was trash. It was. You didn't like that? Yeah, you know how I felt about so how I felt. Uh, <laughs> Damn, I thought it was decent. I liked it. I, I mean, it wasn't as good as the other joint she put out, but. I ain't fucking with some though. For me to get the, like these new Spring, niggas, I need a fun. video. Mm. That's the only way of a nice video to make me like they shit. Like, oh, okay. Mm. I can see where they come I ain't really been or watching so these videos. so fucking weird and, and tweaked out. And I, it, they turned me it off. It turned you off. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They was loving that WCW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, but we also got a, a, a new album from uh, Terrace Martin. Um, I think Knife One is a part of that. Um, Robert Ooh. Glasper and somebody else. I can't think of the fourth person. But uh, then we got a single from uh, her. She put a new single out. I'll never leave her. <laughs> <laughs> and and Pete, we we got Moon Man and Slim Shady. I liked it. I just fucking hated Eminem part. What is that? That's <sighs> their new single. That's Cuddy's new single. single. So I think Cuddy's ready song. to uh, put an album out. Eminem has a flow that I like, but when he when the, the shit he puts in that flow, it'd be like. Him, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Like, that's the conversation. He was like, you don't want to wear no mask. Kick your ass. Like, why did him shut up? Like, that's he's the just... conversation that I have with everybody. Like, he has great flow. But that shit but he put shit the, he in the flow? Be like, okay. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> you should make Haley rap maybe now. Yeah. Shit, like. And they said he, they gave him like 64 bars on his joint. So it was, he was just like rhyming, rhyming like, but that's right. what he does. He <laughs> just puts words together and and throws them inside of pockets that most motherfuckers can't do. Yeah. And then it's like it's just it, it to me it don't be like, oh, he didn't have to say that. It just be like, nigga, why did you bring that up? Like this song has nothing to do with that shit. Like, you talking about it, Nicki Minaj? Bit of honor. Like he just wanted to rap. Like he was talking about the George Floyd stuff. Like yeah, I, yeah it's cool, but this is not for that song, M. You should have right, got a right. little baby with that shit. Like. Right. I, I honestly didn't know how that pairing was going to work. Me I, either. Once I saw that album cover, I mean, not album cover, but the, uh, the single cover, I was just like, how is this going to, like, how is this going to sound? You know what I'm saying? Cuddy sticks to a nice little pocket of certain type of beats. And what I was envisioning, I was just kind of like, I can't picture Eminem on any of that type of stuff. 
And right. you know, here we are. We found listen to the single, and you know, it was actually it was actually all right. Cuddy be on his Native American vibe. Definitely, he Definitely. is Native American too, ain't he? I don't know, but he sounds. He sing like he, on, on that nigga, don't kill him with them hums though. That boy, that, that Mark humming ass like a bull. Mm-hmm. He'll make a fucking <laughs> uh, hit off the hums. <laughs> <laughs> what he said that one song, nigga, go dumb on them homes. <laughs> that nigga too. And my, I remember he made that little EP. Uh, <laughs> that ball man, ball man jeans. Oh, yeah, take shit. off your ball oh. mind with Raphael <laughs> Sadiq. Yeah. Talking about that nigga said all of the New Yorks. Then you be mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just want to sit in on a cutty session just once, just to see how that goes. Just to see that nigga home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you should do a record of just hum. Right, just hum like this like nigga. Like did the gibberish. Uh-huh. <laughs> hum song. Like this nigga. Mm-hmm. 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 Is he hot? Yep. Like, Ryan, what you want, brother? Let him get in his zone. Let him get in his zone. He be in that bitch. Saged out, humming. Man. <laughs> what, what y'all been listening to since we, because uh, we ain't really had a. Uh, Man, my same, my about same about playlist. Music. Shit. I mean, I, I Griselda. That's all I was Gibbs. Definitely got to do the Griselda. That's it. I mean, I, I ain't listened to West Side album yet. They came out last. I year. didn't like it that much. Mm. He no just one? got some nice beats. Like, yeah, uh, they got man. No like, beats is they, like. They, they, I don't know who the uh, that shit should be going with Chinese. Movies. Derringer. Derringer is the dude that did most of uh, West Side. What Machine Gun do? Oh, okay. Mm. Derringer is cold. Derringer is up there with Alchemist. Yeah, them beats is Derringer like, cold, man. Them motherfucking beats is yeah. crazy. But I don't know. Did the joint with him. Said, man, it's just I don't want them to keep coming out though. Like, give me some time. They drop, shit every, they drop shit every month, yeah. month. <laughs> and you don't know if it's a movie or a song. Right. But they <laughs> dropping something. Though. Dropping something. <laughs> Nigga dropping West Side, dropping clothes. I'm gonna give you something. Yeah. While I'm here. <laughs> but but I fuck with it because it's I mean, hustling. Yeah, they they hustling. It's art. They yeah. passionate about it, and it shit good. And they was on West Side. They was on West Side. They was on West Side. They was on they was on T.I. Uh, podcast, and they was just like, man. Oh, they was? Yeah. Okay, I ain't been listening to this shit. They did a, they did a two-part. His ain't too bad, actually. I, I like it. It's just. Yeah. That nigga talk to It long. just, it depends on who he's talking to. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, you got one, you know. It's some people he talked to. Like, he talked to them, and I was like, all right. Loving Griselda right now, so let me listen to right. it. But I'm it was out. just like, man, like, you know, we was trying to get on for so long. It was just like, now that we here. We 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? We're going to just load the truth, you know, we load the clip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't blame them for that. They all old, just throw all that shit out there. Yeah, yeah. But I was watching uh, Benny on Vlad about a month ago. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he going up too. What's crazy is uh, Conway and Westside, they both are shady rock nation, mm-hmm. I think. Uh-huh. And Benny's not shady. He's just Rock Nation. Benny's still independent. Benny is managed by Rock Nation. Oh. But he's got the Black Mafia family. But are they trying to do their own thing too? The Griselda Records? Yeah. So I think he's a part of that. Yeah. So like Griselda. And they had that, they signed that girl. She sounds just like, what's his name? I heard on the track with Westside on his shit. She ain't never Westside, ain't she? She's cold. She cold. Yeah, she cold. Not too many girls can rap on those type of beats. Yeah, she cold. She's flowing on that bitch. She okay. remind me of like a I female West Side, but what's her name? Snaps. I don't fucking know. Uh, she's on that fly guy. That's an awesome guy yeah, too. But uh, I'm finna get it to you. She. Uh, I'm trying to think of what females that I know could rap on that shit. I, I Keisha Plum. Ain't it Keisha Plum? No, I don't think it's her. But who the fuck is Keisha Plum? They gotta be her. You know the chick on there. It ain't the Marnie Caesar. Yeah, so Marnie Caesar. It's a Marnie Caesar. Okay. Marnie Caesar. She cold. Yeah, she raw as hell. I like that. Check her out. They got a nice little group. Yeah, but all of the shit, like her, her shit, it's all like you know modern sounding trap shit. Right. When she got on there with them, I'm okay. She can she can hold her own. Killing that shit. I'm fucking with it. A whole lot better than when uh, we had signed Lola Monroe. And- <laughs> 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 Emil. She's nice, too. Checking out on the yeah, ground right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ahead, no, Damn. Damn, I thought that was my girl Megan at first. She looked like a cash doll to me a little bit, but yeah. Is she from North Carolina? I thought she was from Boston, New York. I thought she was from New York, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she got a P.O. box in North Carolina. She probably moved. Yeah. Maybe she moved out there. So don't forget we're doing a podcast, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 
But I, I mean, I still been banging Nip, man. I've been going back to some of his old stuff. I've been yeah. listening to Mailbox Money a lot. I listen to that. I listen um, to the Crenshaw shit. Yeah, yeah. I went back to that type of stuff. And um, I've been listening to a lot of Lucky Day still, just trying to vibe out. I've been listening to a lot of old shit. Like, I yeah. found this old man. He made, like, playlists on I got an old, like, uh, Simply Red and shit. Yeah. Like, I've been playing that shit, like, a lot lately, too. Like, I was in the 2001 today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dr. Dre is incredible. He is, dude. So I wanted to put some money in his pocket since he, uh, about to lose half and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> thank you, B. Thank you, B. I need to say Ooh, we. Give me some of these pennies on the dollar, Dre. How you lose half, half, half of a billion? How you get divorced? I thought that was it. 25 man. years, man. Damn. They was together 25 years. He years. tired of that nigga doing other shit. <laughs> this Dre, too, though, man. Like, All he do is wear black and white woman. Right. <laughs> black long sleeve. Don't teeth. bother nobody. Open ass neck. Open boy. neck like a motherfucker. And the pants thin as hell. You see, you see Dre. That nigga walk around with no draws on. With a Becky eye, I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, nothing no, things wrong with him. So? I think he's gonna definitely. I think he'll get a Spanish girl. If he ends up with like, what's my homegirl name from? Uh, I was trying to watch that last night. I watched a little piece of that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? The Order. The Old God. Yeah, that motherfucking movie, good as it. Yeah, if, she, if he ends up with like somebody like Shorty, yeah, who Sharice there? Yeah, I can see him with somebody. Like I forgot Dre is old. I was like, hell no, she too old. He is Dre old. will end up with Jada Pinkett in this oh, fuck shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is some entanglement pussy. You know what I'm saying? You think he gonna end up with somebody? <laughs> yeah. He gonna get a little old model nah, bitch. We, we gonna be kidnapped. We gonna say that one for later. Oh. We gonna say that one for <laughs> The porno not kidding. Now, I, I, you know, I, I hate to kill the mood in the room, man, but I just want to say rest in peace uh, to seven-year-old Natalie Wallace. Um, Friday, they had her funeral. She passed after, um, you know what I'm saying, dying from injuries sustained during uh, July 4th. It was uh, over 100 shootings here in uh, Chicago over the July 4th weekend, man. So, um, that's terrible. Yeah, I, I, you know, but I was glad they did get one guy. Um, he, he was 33 year old something. They said his name on um, on the uh, news. I was watching the news the other day, but they had her services yesterday. and uh, Not yesterday, uh, Friday. And um, I'm, just, I'm just glad that they rest jumped on that, and, and they that. got they got somebody. So I think he's going to lead to the rest of the arrest. It was supposed to be like four other guys involved in it. But I hope they do get all these dumbass. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's it's you know, crazy just the days and times. Like you know, we was talking about the movie shit. Like it's a whole pandemic going on, and we still got like shootings and right. people just dying. You know, from nonsense. That's a, uh, rapper, little Mar, little Marlo, Mar Mario. I'm I think it's Lamarlo. Sure. Yeah, he passed away, and like I don't want to say like nobody should die, yeah. but the way they killed him, they came up on him and killed him. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna kill somebody, you come up on him. Don't let the straight bullet hit an innocent victim for no fucking reason. That's big yeah. shit right there. Period. But it's just it's all sad. Period. You know. Yeah. With this pandemic, with this Black Lives Matter, with all this stuff going on, we still losing, losing yeah. people for yeah. no fucking reason. And we losing our babies. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. 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 And that's that's the part that hurt me. So that's why I just I wanted to make sure I, I brought that up and you know uh, just send positive energy, prayers, and love to her family. You know I, I can't even try to fathom the thought of you know what I'm saying losing a, a child so young. Yeah, that's terrible. You know, that's crazy. That's fucked up. So just once once again, rest in peace, um, uh, Natalie uh, Wallace. Rest in peace. Yes, yeah. yes. All right. Now, we got that out of the way, not saying it like that, but, you know, I do got something here I think will pick the energy back up. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so, I got a question of the week. I got a question of the week before we round it out. Summer Flings. This is for late nights. Hey, we, we, we just, you know, we're going to have some little fun. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a little fun. Just bring something different. Is the goal of such a thing just summer fun? Or is it something that you can make it last forever, which is summer, baby? For me, it depends on that on that energy. Yeah, it depends on the energy. You going into it, you know, thinking we just we having fun. It's a summer, you know, get up. You could be enjoying yourself, and you want to keep enjoying yourself, and it could go long term. So yeah. it, it all depends on the energy that's bouncing back and forth. Yeah, I mean, with this shit going around now, you might as well. 
Because yeah, when the women hit, you finna be back in the house. Like, my, yeah, y'all yeah. might as well keep that yeah. shit going. Plus, the landscape of the COVID, you don't want to be bouncing around. Right. Like, person or right, right, right. You know, you're going you gonna to meet people, but you don't want to, you know, every day is a different chick. Different right. Different dude. So, yeah, yeah you want to have some type of consistency going on so you're not out here getting sick from COVID or, mm-hmm. or worse. Right, right. Yeah, I agree with B with that one. I'm on the same thing, too, like. You find something you're interested in, y'all locked in, bam, it's cool, let's keep it going. If y'all not, then y'all communicate and say, hey, we just gonna have to fuck, and that's it, or leave it be. Yeah, and I'm, I'm type nigga, I'm, I like like familiarity, like, I like shit that I'm familiar with. So, yeah. like, a lot of the girls that I've messed with, I've known. Right. I just wasn't talking to them. Then out of the blue, we started talking, bam, you know, so that happens. So, right. So that being said, have y'all had any uh, summer flings, obviously, and, you know, this summer, has anything been going on? Anything been cracking? I had a little fun, but not too much. <laughs> <laughs> not, not too much. much. I had a little fun. That's not, not too much. much. For thirty dollars, you can see more fun. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I, mean, I had a little fun for the summer, so hey. Be in the inbox if you want to see the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 120 for the full 30 minute video, right? <laughs> Good editing and everything. PG fucker production. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I've been low, I've been low key as fuck this whole summer. Mm-hmm. Just cause, you know, the landscape, man, I got, like you, we were talking earlier, underlying conditions, so I, I gotta be conscious of, right. of where I'm at, who I'm around. Mm-hmm. Plus, I work in a hospital, so. Yeah, I'll just be trying to, you know, chill out. Yeah, I'm going to kick back and I step out for a minute, but I don't be looking for shit to do too much. Right. It ain't it ain't that much. I have one that like I went to recess and I was sitting there eating and it just was weird. G like everybody on a fucking mask. Mm. Just the weirdest shit in the world. Like this is I feel like I'm in total recall or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is strange as hell. I said, like I said, movie, man. yeah, I said it before, man. Like I be looking at like Oriental and Asian people, or just people of that descent, and how they've been having on masks forever. Mm-hmm. Like you know, when I worked downtown, I used to just see them, you know, on the train, and they would just have them on at all times while they, you know, right. on public transportation. And you know, I always used to wonder, like, man, is that just some arrogant shit, or <laughs> like? Are y'all really just that, you know what I'm saying, paranoid to be just like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's just, clean yeah, people. you know, yeah. just being germaphobes. Right. But, you know, here we are, fast forward, you know, now everybody has to do it. I mean, some people aren't out here, you know, with masks on. I ain't gonna lie, when I'm at work, I don't put that motherfucker on. It ain't no point for me. Because mm. I'm hot, I'm already breathing this shit in. Mm. And it's like that mask ain't doing nothing restricting me. So it's like, I gotta take that motherfucker off. Now, if I go to the store or some shit, yeah, I'm gonna put it on for those purposes. Mm-hmm. But at work, me dumping garbage. Yeah, I, I mean, can't. I can't wear that shit. Yeah, the mask is for protection from other people. Right. Mm-hmm. You're not around nobody else when you're out at work. Right. So it's just my partner all the way over yeah. here. I'm over right, here, so right. it's like I can't. Ain't no point for me to wear. They, they try to make us wear it though, but I be like, man, it's fucking hot. And then some shit. They need to get, get on the mask and yeah, they need to and then yeah, I rather wear glasses. You know, glasses and you wear glasses shit. with that mask on, it's it's clouding your you know your mm-hmm. lenses. You know that happens to me a lot. I'm, I'm yeah. at the store and I got my glasses on. I got the mask on and you know right. You see it in this, you know the air going into the, the lens. Because I remember uh, the other night I went to the sex store and uh, oh, <laughs> buddy was like, it's in a real kind. <laughs> Buddy came in there like, man, put it over your nose. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I can't because I got on glasses. Like, this shit finna clog it all up. I just do it on anyway. Took out my glasses. I'm in that bitch squinting. Like, what the fuck? What <laughs> but yeah, I just, I hate I that shit. wait for late nights, boy. <laughs> yeah, late nights. Shit, yeah. Oozing out of pee. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Nick. Talks about oozing out of pee. Because I want to ask, like, why? You just, just said that just real random. Like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, you go to those oh, places. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm know? going to the store. You know, we don't name Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Target. Let everybody know where I was at. Like, sex store. What I do on my <laughs> weekly time. <laughs> my significant other. <laughs> all right, all right. So it, it, you know, wouldn't be right. You know what I'm saying? If we ain't end off with this, you feel me? Because it's been the talk of the town, and you know, we we, we got to touch on August with his entanglement with the Smiths. Mm. And it was tangled up. So, <laughs> me, I leave this to you, my buddy. Like. <laughs> Run us out through this thing. This your favorite actor? <laughs> you said what? It's your favorite actor? It's my favorite actor. It's my favorite uh, uh, R&B singer, young R&B singer. <laughs> my 
my favorite uh, female actress, you know, as far as looks go. Uh, yeah, man, this is some messy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's messy as hell. And it, it's all August's fault for it yeah. being messy, but it's not his fault as far as how this shit is transpiring. Right. Man. This is all Jada shit. And she's a mastermind. Damn. <laughs> I, bro. So, over the last few days, I've had a lot of conversations with different people, getting different perspectives and whatnot. And I've come to a conclusion that she planned this shit out. Mm -hmm. This, it, it worked perfect. Yeah. She fucking, so she met, she met uh, August through Jaden. Right. First of all. Right. One of his buddies. Then, you, you, you take notice that, yeah, this nigga's sick. Physically, mentally, he's, he's fucked up. Right. So, now he's looked at as a project. I can help fix this nigga. I can help fix him, make him uh, better. Right. Make him, uh, we can still see him back on Oh, camera. shit. Back <laughs> on <laughs> I thought I made it. <laughs> yeah, I can fix this nigga. And by me helping him, he can help me. <laughs> That's what that shit is. So, Jaden was his homie first. Absolutely. Okay. That was the introduction. That's how you got it. How would you feel if your homie fucking your mom? See, but that's the thing. That, that little nigga Jaden is weird as fuck. I'm just saying, though, so but like, you. We're going to say he's you. Ryan calling Tyler the creator, his boyfriend and shit. He's right. selling box water. You know what I mean? He, he just a different kid. Right. Um, How would I feel personally? Me right now, I'd be fucking pissed. I'm ready to throw. Right. Nigga tried to nigga nigga didn't try nigga fuck my mom. Right. But you can't. Are you mad at moms? Hell yeah. So do you, you can't be mad at all. Parties, you, right? I know. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> do you leave the family? Come out of this do bitch. I, I, I'm. A, I would. I'm gonna tell you this. The way Will was on the red table talk, mm. I'd be polar opposite. Mm. I couldn't be calm. All right. But I also know that Will has an image to protect. Right. And I, I personally think that he made her do that shit. Date him? No, made her do the red tape. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're like, yeah, this is your mess. You explain this shit and let him yeah. know what's going on. You got so to. It can get me off the hook. Because like I told you, my side bitches ain't tripping. Right. Yo little niggas is out of line. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. Yeah, that's, that's how I look at it as. Like, I, I say they swingers, but... If they not, they still did this situation where they say, hey, okay, we, we falling apart. You go do you, I go do me. But you yeah, did you into the, you got the wrong little she, nigga to do it to. Did. Yeah. And then, and then, you could have got the nigga from the yeah. uh, Allstate commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You could have got my man in Gemini. It looked like me. You could have. <laughs> well, yeah. Don't know who anybody. What y'all think about this shit? Well, okay, so I got a weird fact out here that I gotta throw out here. So a fact. Yeah. You know it's fact? Well, I don't know if it's fact, but this is something I heard. <laughs> Marvel Robbie's uh Instagram activity has doubled this went this whole weekend. Mm. As a result <laughs> of this shit with Jada and Will in August. Who is Marvel Robbie? That's uh she plays, uh, what's it called? And then Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Oh, okay. So it's been long rumored that her and Will was fucking. Yeah. So um, it stemmed from a movie they did. I think they did this movie before Suicide Squad, but they've they've done several movies together or whatever. Um, so they're just saying the traffic on her Instagram page has like double this, this mm -hmm. weekend as a result of this. But um, I do feel like. If, okay, to answer your question, if I'm Jaden, I'm moving out of the crib because I believe Jaden still stays in the crib. No, he said he got his own place. I, I, I'm not coming back then. <laughs> I stayed at my spot. But um, it's messy, man. Like, I I can't fathom. Because, okay, you mad, you want to throw hands with your boy because that's your boy. Right. But you need to be mad. I'm twice as mad at moms. Now, I can't obviously throw in with moms. Why but him? That's the man. What thing. the hell was you thinking? This is my friend. We were making an album, like, mom. How, how are we going to, how does that friendship continue with that 
in the back of your mind. Like, it can. Well, what's crazy is I bet you it does continue. I bet you they talk right now. Who? Oh, talking about Jaden in, in August. You think so? Hell yeah. Because he's a little weird motherfucker. Yeah, because they situation different. They probably don't bother him. He probably don't care. All right. You ain't my real mom. This no, is this Jaden his mama? Yeah, yeah. No, Jaden's his mom. I'm yeah. thinking of the other brother. That's the big brother. Yeah, I'm thinking of him. Yeah, that is weird as fuck. It's nah, he, nah, he probably looks at it different. But Jayden, he probably don't give a fuck. Right? Jaden and Willow. Jaden and Willow, they don't care. Yeah. This shit's normal to them. Mm. Yeah. They probably but I mean, they've seen it. They've seen yeah, they it going probably, around the house. Like, seen it on, oh, who is this guy, Dad? Uh, I've even heard that she messed around with Mark Anthony. She probably did. Yeah. She could have did that this time. You could have got somebody. Mark of the age Anthony up. makes sense to me though because he's of the age. Right. Let's just go with the swinger thing, right? I need to know. He got, <laughs> you know, I, need to know. I think he was with Jennifer Lopez the at the time. So, you know, they might have swapped it out. Yeah. Bill, you know what I'm saying? Big Willie style. And, and. I mean, all them Hollywood people do it because they can keep it to a point where it's low key. We won't find out. Exactly. We can always assume, mm -hmm. but we'll never know. This young nigga just brought the business out, and it was like, fam, I really think August is done after this. We ain't finna this nigga. And you finna say he's sick. If he's, if he's truly sick, why are you giving him the box? And you know he 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 is unstable. That turn on. They help people. You know you can help somebody. That shit turn you on. That shit drive you wild. That's yeah. That's like a knowing he's fetish. He's him, becoming yeah. your slave, basically, or mm -hmm. your yeah. I got him. But you know he has a song called "Wait." I've been thinking for the longest that was about Jada anyway. Mm hmm. Song is amazing. Dude. I mean, ever since I seen a nigga pop up, <laughs> I said she fucking him. Yeah, I'm like, okay, maybe he there with Jay. And then I start seeing them pictures. I was like, yeah, he's yeah. Him. It, when, she, when they was taking pictures on the red carpet, on the, in the bed, yeah, yeah, yeah he she got that a, shit. It's a picture of him and his mom. She's in it too, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you met mom. Yeah. And it's like my yeah. thing is, once once she told you we're not gonna go this far, we just. I just need to feel good, nigga. Why you didn't just leave it? Why you couldn't be a player about it? Right, right. Because he, he's, he, he was he ain't a player, man. Because here's what happened. Here's somebody that when you were at your worst point, yeah, she helped build you back up. She, she I wonder how it. sick this nigga was. <laughs> I saw a picture of it. This was this time last year. He just actually just posted on his Instagram. His fucking body was swollen. His face was swollen and shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he was. He's been sick. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, this is somebody that helps you on your road to recovery, physically, mentally. So now you've become invested, and you thought this person was invested in you as well. So right, you, right. You tried to reciprocate that and put that into, I guess, uh, a relationship. Right. Which she didn't want. So now you're you're left in limbo. Right. Heartbroken. Yeah. And here we are, you know, talking to town entanglement. Man. Everybody, everybody's social media has had entanglement on there in some form or fashion. Everything. I guarantee you, it might not happen. It might not happen in the immediate future, but I think they're gonna get a divorce. You think so? Yeah. Especially when that nigga rubbing his shoulders. You know, only a man knows what a man needs. No, they don't. Will. Don't, don't <laughs> fucking say that again. Yeah, uh, <laughs> even even Jada's mom be looking at that shit. If you watch Red Table, mm -hmm. she be looking like, what the fuck? This shit crazy. Right, right. That's how that be her face. Like, this shit is nuts. What the fuck did I put my daughter into? And she, the kind of and she keep doing pocket that nigga face, too. Yeah. That nigga got to fight with a dead person. Now your little young ass in. How did you get this one? Who raised you? Man. I did. Damn, fucked up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I think the image for Will is tarnished so much. That a lot of niggas is supporting Will though. Yeah, but at the same token, his image is tarnished. He's gonna have to disconnect from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I to be honest, I don't. Me, I still think it was he gave permission. Don't he? I believe so too. But he probably, like I said, he probably told him this little nigga finna fuck it up. Mm -hmm. So he gave permission to fuck. Yeah, he didn't give permission for you to. Get yeah, extra, shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. when it happened, he said, all right, this little nigga finna because you finna you got me, Jada, you finna get this little nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. So watch. And he fucked it up and now she feels stupid like damn, I done fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how I'm looking at it. At. <laughs> this is just crazy. Oh what a tangle web we weave. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
So do y'all agree with Jada being called the new future? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> she future future finest. Shit. You got desires. <laughs> That nigga. I don't know. Future's a different animal, Jack. Yeah. Future's like. He got what, 10 babies? Oh, man. Eight women? He tell them the truth, though. They just can't take it. Yeah, Scotty White. Those hoes ain't shit anyway. Future. They want that. Yeah. And then when they get that, they want to play the victim. Mm hmm. Future giving it to them. She never knew what she was getting into when she got with Future. Yeah, that's the same shit I said. I've seen the other baby mothers. You knew this nigga wasn't shit. Now you, you got he... Russell, and now you want to talk down on this nigga, but you laid down with him. So right, how right. could you talk bad on him? You thought that pussy, that's what. That's a problem with some women. You think that pussy going to change a nigga, and it ain't. It's not. Yeah. You change you whatever that nigga want from a woman, if you do that, then he going to, I'm going to be there. But if you ain't doing that shirt shit he wanted a woman, he ain't gonna stay. See, that's just gonna be that pussy. Though. They all they all fall victim to that. They think, okay, that's gonna change somebody. Mm -hmm. no, it ain't. It's not. Puma did that. Thought that pussy was gonna change me. Nah, no, bitch, you don't even cook for me. I don't wanna be with you. Mm -hmm. she in the streets. I'm mean, hungry. She belongs in the streets. <laughs> oh my God. I'm hungry, bitch. You ain't cooking? Get the fuck out of here. Who was cooking the meals before you that you was posting? No, nah, that was that's recently, but I'm saying before when I was one of those, it was yeah. Stop bitch can't cook, man. She couldn't cook. I, I'll oh, put man. it all out there now. Puma don't sue us. She don't know who she is. But like, yes, that's me. I'm Puma. Y'all know she Puma. <laughs> man. But yeah, man. Uh I hope, you know, like you said, I'm I'm kinda there with you because they kinda even alluded to it on the show. Like he was, he said I was done with your ass. Like I was like, oh, yeah, y'all, y'all might be here. Man, they might, you know, you know what, to, to look at that episode and then you bring that up, they might, you know, we might as well go ahead and Jay don't let it be. You want the little nigga back, go and get the little nigga back. Yeah, she probably don't want it. She probably never wanted the nigga. She just wanted to feel good. Wanted that, that moment. I wonder, I wonder what happened. Why did this occur? Why did it, y'all fall apart? What was it? Was Will cheating? Was, I'm sure it, it just was. wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? What was the situation of why, well, why she, she kind of explained it in some other episodes like Will was very uh, he was strong willed and imposing what he thought was a great life mm -hmm. and you know what family. when I when I heard that I thought that was in the beginning of their relationship I didn't think it was around this time now <clears throat> yeah like a few years ago mm. like he was trying to impose what he thought was a great life for his family right right he was yeah making everybody else miserable mm -hmm. so yeah um She's more the free spirit than Will is. You think Will a free spirit, but he just the goofy dad trying to have fun, and right. everybody right. like, nah, dude, I right. kind of want to go to Tokyo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to jump out the fucking hell. I want to jump in the volcano, Dad. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if if it wasn't for the sake of this podcast, I wouldn't give a fuck about none of this shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, it is what it is. I always thought they was swingers doing their own thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. And since we're here talking about it, man, I knew that, I knew this shit was going on when that first record came out. When he had the text message on the shit. Yeah. It was uh, Corn. I think it had Corn on there, and that's her middle name. Uh -huh. So, yeah, man, shit, this ain't news to me. But right. It just finally broke out, that's all. Yeah. <clears throat> Will looked like he was annoyed with the shit, so. Hey, guess what, Will? Guess what month come up next? Oh, uh, shit. Oh, guess. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I thought it was hilarious. All right, man. Well, What's I, it? Yeah, I think we didn't cover that thing, man. All right. Number we haven't put out here in a while, but y'all can definitely always hit us up on. Y'all yeah, better fucking call. Let us know, you know what I'm saying? Your thoughts, opinions. I don't need All that good stuff. 72307. 3828. 3828. You know I'm saying? I still got it on the page. Sure hit that. <laughs> I got the Google number on my phone and it just be randomly shit coming up there. It don't be necessarily pertaining to the show. But oh, hey, freaking figured freaking. I said today I'm going to make sure I put the number back out here. Y'all get back to sending us messages and all that good stuff. Because we was getting some from time to time. Right. Why y'all hating on Jada? Jada doing her fucking thing. Yeah, it's always been up for uh, women that ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> Aisha Curry looking for outside 
Attention. Yeah, like you got Steph trying to win well, championship. Because she ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing now. How you know? How you know you? She ain't doing what she's supposed to be if doing. If he wasn't, then they probably wouldn't be together. So and that, and, that, and that is the last little thought I do want to leave with on that. Like, let's just do this. If it was the reverse and it was Will, they Will would be, be in his ass. Yeah, yeah. Will would be the biggest villain ever right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what? It would have been crazy too. I thought about this. What if? What's the uh, August came out and said, I was fucking with. Oh. What if <laughs> I'd have been like, you know what I would have did? I said the government did all this shit just to get us off the shit that's going on. I would have I would have looked at it the same way they did with fucking August. I'm like, oh, right. okay. I know it. I said, I said <laughs> so I know it. Yeah. I said, damn, with Jada. <laughs> Jada gave me her blessing. Gave me a blessing. <laughs> what? As I heard, I mean, not to put some bullshit out here, but I've heard rumors of Will and another mm-hmm. actor mm-hmm. whom he's paid a home for. Right. Or gave him a loan for a house. Right. Oh, um, Dwayne Martin? There you go. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. But I think he was trying to be <laughs> mad. But yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to get no lawsuits. <laughs> no, I heard it too. But um, yeah, I heard you know all types of little weird little shit about that. But um, that's neither here nor there. You know, right. If it, if it did, if happen, it comes up, we'll be here to talk about. It. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If it did happen, ain't nobody going to jail from it. So nobody right. doing shit wrong, <laughs> you know, legally. Right. So it is what it is. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Whether y'all have it, it's another one in the bag, baby. Uh, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Uh, get on YouTube, NMG TV, hit that subscribe and hit the notification so you know when we dropping videos. Make sure you get on iHeartRadio, you get on Spotify, you get on uh, iTunes, and you get on SoundCloud. Make sure you follow. Oh, Anchor FM as well. Make sure you're following the show and all of the other shows under the NMG umbrella. You know what I'm saying? Because I said so. That drops now on... Every every Thursday, Wednesday? Every other Thursday. So we got one coming this Thursday, episode two. Uh, check that out, on the environment. How to uh, uh, give you perspective on kids, uh, how to interact in the vi- environment, especially in Chicago with all of this violence that we talked about earlier. Um, you know, just how to move around it and, and be uh, wise about how you deal with your children. Yes, sir. Um, Tonight, we will be recording the late nights with Sexy and Savage Podcast. We'll be coming to you next week. Very soon to drop, so stay tuned. I will be posting it. You guys will see if you enjoy the introduction episode of the reboot.